Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, I am here on the Harley Davidson website where we get to we're checking out in this video uh, the 120th anniversary uh, event uh, bikes. We're gonna poke around the whole website, kind of see what's going on, um, and just kind of maybe get some prices, see what's out there for bikes, paint schemes, and everything else. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it a short video, not too long. But yeah, let's check it out here. So uh, here we got the uh, 100th anniversary uh, video that we watched in the previous video. Um, 120th anniversary bikes. Uh, looks like shop for men and women for apparel. The new what's new for 2023? So it's gonna be the Nightster, uh, Nightster Special, Breakout, uh, Road Glide Three, the new 2023 Free Wheeler, and the CDO. Um, so let's uh we got was it the homecoming uh parts and accessory packages king of the baggers uh your next bike and yeah so let's go up to the top here we're gonna check out the new bikes i want to make sure one more second sorry for the weird cut there i just needed to check to make sure my microphone was actually setting um, yeah, so here is the 120th years of Harley Davidson. Um, some of the bikes, their 120th anniversary limited anniversary edition, uh, CBO Road Glide. Finer details. It, uh, it keeps showing the same stuff. We'll just start off at the top. So we'll check out the CBO real quick. Uh, let's see the bike. Sorry about the weird pause. Uh, so here we are. 2023 CVO Road Glide. Uh, anniversary theme. Looks really nice and smooth. Good paint job. Upright riding position. Floorboards. Passenger seat with backrest. Saddlebags. Frame mounted fairing. Infotainment system. Rider safety enhancement, yeah, enhancements, enhancements available. Wow, I can't talk. Um, wow, yeah, that's a sweet looking bike. Very nice. I like the it, everything just flows with the bike, the color, the schemes, everything. That's nice. And for uh, fifty two thousand uh, dollars, you would hope so. That's kind of like a retirement bike. Uh, you just retired from your job. That's the bike you get and just ride off into the sunset, right? Cool. Let's go back. Fat boy. <laughs> like how they have buffalo right away. Uh, so the 2023 uh, Fat Boy floorboards, passenger seat in the back, relaxed riding position, and it's lower to the ground. That's key word there. It's lower. It's got the 114 engine with Lake Lakester disc wheels. So it's a solid, solid wheel state almost. Those are really hard on the uh, when driving across country in the. Get a gust of wind. So it looks like they got different colors. This is probably going to be the same thing for every bike. They got the vivid black, the billiard blue, gray haze, or silver fortune. That's kind of a nice two tone piece there. That's nice. And then, of course, they got the uh, heirloom red fade, which has got the 120 badges all over it. Uh, that cost is about uh, 20, uh, 21000 for for that i like the c the c accents are different in that um the derby cover and all the accent pieces kind of match where the other colors are just just the same uh it's the same like when you buy a brand new harley it's all the same you have to buy the special pieces to make them different um as we go down Yeah, so we'll go back and we'll check out the next one. Uh, 
Heritage. Well, I'm glad that they're keeping the Heritage around. The Heritage, I think, is like another gateway bike into the Harley Davidson. It's really nice. Um, upright floorboard, upright riding position, floorboards, passenger seats, handlebags, detachable wind windscreen. It's got the 114, just like most of it. Now, I like it blacked out with this color, and it's called Prospect Gold uh, with black finish. That is a sweet color. Uh, kind of reminds me of my 2016 Hard Candy Edition um, bikes, but this is just a solid gold with the pinstriping. Uh, so that's one of the other colors that they offer. They got the Vivid Black with Chrome, Atlas Silver Metallic with Chrome, the, was it's the Billiard Blue, Billiard Gray with Chrome Finish, kind of like a two-tone, Vivid Black with Black Finish. That's kind of like the classic heritage I think my buddy had, or, uh, my buddy rides. You got the gold with black finish. You got the belly or blue, uh, belly or gray with the black finish. So kind of blacked out. Every, and that's where it, that's where it's going. It's more and more blacked out bikes. Um, and then of course you got the anniversary edition, which the saddlebags match uh, all the bike. Just looking at it from the rear here, really nice uh, for twenty two k. Not bad. Very nice. We'll back it up here. We'll check out the next one, which is going to be the Ultra Limited Anniversary Edition. So it's got upright riding position, floorboards, passenger seat with backrest, tall ride, tall riding, uh, saddlebags, front mounted fairing, infotainment system, and rider safety enhancements. It's got the 114 in it. Uh, same color schemes, vivid black. Uh, red line is, a, I guess that's different with chrome. Got the gray haze, Bellier blue two tone, heirloom red. That's the anniversary edition of the bike. Very nice color scheme there. Um, got vivid black with black finish. Wow, that's just black. Doesn't that, it's just black on black. And <laughs> that is gorgeous. Like, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm like, I like blacked out bikes. But this is just black and like, oh, wow. Even like the protective railings here, the floorboards are all black. The next thing I would do if, if I was a purchase of this bike is like get the blacked out disc rotors and everything just to get black on black on black, you know, just everything black. Uh, 30,000, uh, about 29,800, not bad for price wise for all everything that you get. Got the gray, uh, the two tone, and then you got the golden black. Wow, that's slick with the and it's blacked out. That's so nice. Wow, cool. Uh, moving on here, probably the Rogue Glide Ultimates next. Nope, just the Street Glide special. <clears throat> Uh, same thing. The only thing that you don't get is the, uh, I think it sits a little bit lower to the ground and you don't get the back passenger backrest. Bright white Daymaker LED lamp, two tone, 114 engine. So this is the same thing. It's got the vivid black. Oh, I guess the only thing that's different is it's got the bright orange. Baja orange. Holy smokes with chrome god if they don't say they don't see you on the road with this bike they're lying to you um gray haze bright billiard blue i'm guessing this is vivid black with bomb black atlas gray gold billiard blue but blacked out that's different is the yellow and black i think they released that as a cdo i think last year um and then, of course, they got the Anniversary Edition, which, wow, with it being blacked out in the gold accent rim or the brass brass gold accent rims, really makes the bike stand out. That is gorgeous. 28,000. I think... Does this is, is this more than uh, the Ultimate? Uh, weird. We'll keep pressing on here. Uh, Triglide.
Uh, so it's got trunk, fork mounted bearing, of course, infotainment center, right, safety and floorboards, passenger backrest with back backrest with seat. Ride seeking a one of a kind three tone experience, liquid or uh, air cooled warm fourteen, tomahawk wheels. Um, looks like it's got vivid black, atlas silver, gray, silver fortune, kind of a two tone look there. Um, the gold and black with silver. I don't know if I like the silver with that. If it was black, more black, that'd be nice. I got uh, the anniversary edition right here. It is got the red with chrome and everything. About thirty six thousand five hundred in price, which is a decent amount. Uh, very nice for the, the ultra trike um, six speed drive transmission liquid liquid cool twin cool all right so as we continue here not bad for the ultra trike I'm glad they kind of did a trike with this anniversary edition paint job Uh, then the road glide is the last one. Uh, so it's got a frame mounted fairing, of course, saddlebags, uh, floorboards, upright riding position. It does not have the backrest on it. It's got the 114. Uh, let's check out the color. Same thing, baby black, Baja orange, which that's Jesus. Right. Uh, gray, the billiard blue, two tone. Black on black, that is awesome. Now you just need the blacked out turn signals and everything. <laughs> the silver, prospect gold with the black, that's very nice. I never rode a road glide yet, you know. Out of all the Harley Davidsons, I have not rode a road glide yet. Uh, same black and yellow paint scheme as the street glide. And then there's the anniversary edition. Very, very nice. 28,000 for that one pretty neat Brembo brake systems I think in most of these very nice the, the spoke systems uh, they're all serialized too from what the video said This custom stitching that they have for the seats. Very nice. Cool, let's back it up. Uh, let's check out, uh, there's the icon. Featured items, jackets, vests, new rifles. No, we just want to check out the anniversary stuff. Uh, real quick for clothing, this they definitely got a lot of the the uh, was it the patch for 120 implemented into every single piece. T-shirts, jackets, five hundred and fifty dollars for the hundred twentieth system uh, event vet system riding jacket. Uh, $600 for the anniversary champ leather biker jacket high in price I think at least once it's past this 120th year it's 121 all this stuff should go on discount hopefully if it doesn't sell out already or it's just gonna sit in the warehouse you know um, kind of pricey even for a vest 275 I mean you are buying a Harley stuff Mechanic shirt ninety dollars, t shirt fifty five. But same kind of logo and everything. Sweatshirt, hoodies, zip up, hats, helmets, 
uh, flannels, which I like flannel shirts, $300 for helmets, gloves, $100. Um, I kind of want to see price. Let's go under 50 bucks. Hats, t-shirts, simple stuff, stuff that you, you know, wow. Uh, crazy. Let's go to the women's section. Wow, the zip up 120th enthusiast three in one outerwear jacket, two hundred dollars. That's not bad for a three in one. Four twenty five for the red, the red biker jacket. Wow, that's not bad. Four twenty five for the black one. Full on coveralls, one seventy. Zip up ninety. Handkerchiefs. What, 16 bucks? The bomber jacket, 150. Or is that children's? That's oh, women's. Yeah, same thing. It looks like the same familiar stuff. Familiar stuff. A lot more red, I think. I feel like. Um, See, if they had that logo on uh, one of the men's one, where it's 120th on the bag, i probably get that one just for remembrance. Uh, nice red gloves, 90 bucks. Cool. And we'll back it up twice here, and we'll go to the next section. Oh. Keep going. Pretty... I like the clothing. It's good design, good taste. Uh, price wise, well, well, on the spendy side, but that's where they make their money. I feel like um, looks like the night sir for twenty twenty three. Would check it out real quick. Uh, more performance, forward riding position, mid mount, foot controls, A2 compatibility. What's A2? A2 compatible. I have to read in on that. Rider safety enhancement system. Lever Revolution Max 975 power train. Uh, quick, nimble motorcycle with razor sharp handling. So the standard comes in red or red line or vivid black. Price tags about. Thirteen five hundred or thirteen thousand five hundred. It's kind of it's for a newer sportster. Yeah, I see that. Liquid cool riding modes. Uh, that's the intake. Wow. Um, decal for the anniversary edition. You can do if you want to deck out your nicer to be anniversary edition. You can do that. Um, attainment, analog display, I'm trying to see what the A2 meant, freight and surcharge, hmm. All right, we're almost to the 18 minute mark and we're gonna keep going. Uh, Nightster Special. <clears throat> Same USB charging port, standard cruise control, Bluetooth equip, and four inch thin transistor LCD display. Two up, ready with passenger pavilion. Uh, this one starts at 15. It's got a little bit more color options. You got the vivid black, you got denim black, which is the flat black, um, billiard blue, and then you got the yellow. Denim, that's a popular color. Uh, I remember when they did the denim blue as one of the paint schemes. Definitely, people loved it. Uh, let's check out the breakout. Wow, 
117 V twin, so it's got power, more powerful engine, powerful engine in it, and sits lower to the ground. Forward foot controls, stretch riding position. Um, orange, really good color. About 21,000 looks like for price wise. They got the vivid black. I think this is the denim, black denim. Very nice. And then the Baja Orange, and then the Atlas Silver. Very nice. Whether it makes a comeback or not, we don't know. We'll see what happens. 117 engine, that's going to be a little bit more horse. They got this nice small uh, display, which I've seen implemented on bikes now, or the more newer bikes. Easier, you know. To have all that right there instead of not having anything at all or having it right on the tank. Uh, easier access, I think, to fixing it wise. You know, price 21, yeah, eh, 21,000, brand new. It's not terrible. I think good price for a comeback bike. Uh, Road Glide 3, this is going to be a game changer for the trike division. Wind tunnel tested mounted shark fairing with nothing on the back, which is nice. Infotainment system. Uh, 32, 33,000 for the bike. Uh, we got vivid black, gray haze, billiard blue, and that's all with chrome accent. Then they got the same thing, but with black finish, which is me is my kind of style. I kind of like that. I don't, I'm not too much of a chrome person. Although my 2016 Street Glide Special is one of them's all chrome. Then I got the Sportster 2016 Candy Apple Edition. And that's the tank is the only thing that's got color on everything else. I'm switching to a flat black look. So it looks kind of cool. But very like this design. Uh, I think this is going to sell uh, for sure in the, for the target market. Um, especially those who don't want the big everything and everything on it you know they want something simple like the freewheeler but still have that fairing they're gonna get that because uh like my old man he has a freewheeler but put a front fairing on it just to get that wind deflection so very nice moving on to i think it's where we're gonna speaking of freewheeler i think that's what we're gonna look at next is the freewheeler and there's going to be more bikes coming out soon, and uh, as soon as they do, I'll do more videos on it for sure. Uh, very nice freewheeler. Black finish is pff, great. Then this is a different color uh, palette. I've seen the white sand pearl is a little different. And, of course, they got the vivid black. Oh, black, this, that's so awesome, just how much black there is. And they got the two-tone, which that is sick. If they had the two tone, I guarantee you, if they had the two tone for the Road Glide three like this, sold instantly for thirty thousand too. That's not bad. Those who are not familiar with riding a trike, trikes are a great way to get into the motorcycle world. If they, you know, if you can't balance, if your balancing's off, you know, it's something to think about. Let's see what else is there. Well, yeah, we already checked out the CVO. Um, parts and accessory. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, real quick, which you know, King of the Baggers is re uh, released for 2023. So if you want to check out that, it's racing of the big bag bikes. They're more performance and tuned in. Um, I just uh, opened up new tabs for this, but we'll go see real quick the homecoming, uh, and then we'll check out accessories for your bikes. <clears throat> so celebrating 120 years of HD, join us July 13th through 16th in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA. Um, check out the HD app. There's four day festival, including live performances from big names and music, Green Day and Foo Fighters, um, activities, entertainment enthusiasts for all ages. You got Foo Fighters, Green Day, 
all roads lead home they have a thing on the website here so depending on where you are there's actually days that they're leaving so you can hook up with all sorts of bikers if they follow it some people just might hoof it and get it there but if you want to follow their kind of calendar maybe i can open up real quick all roads lead home and see they got southwest northwest northeast canada east southeast so wherever you coming from it's all like directions that they're taking to lead home so um, just click on one of those and it shows you where to go uh, so we keep going they got veterans park is working the all the things they're gonna be at they got the hd museum in milwaukee which will be open and then they also have uh, Pilgrim Road with has a manufacturing plant on there, so you can go check out where the bikes get started from. Factory tours, demo rides, and police skills. And then the 16th is just the Epic Road Parade, which is the road out where everyone's leaving for the leaving after that event. Um, venues, real quick. Veterans Park, family, music, food, merchandise, museum again. Get your jam on, museum tour, new experience gallery, uh, new mama tried and me papa exhibits. Uh, retail, uh, retail shops, and from what I've understood, if you buy something at the museum uh, retail shop, you cannot get it anywhere else. Uh, you can't get it at your local Harley Davidson, so. You might can order online, but you can't get it there. Uh, you got the hog check-in if you're a hog member. Hog ride challenge, uh, 120th custom bike showcase, live wire demo, which uh, if you guys don't know, a live wire came out two or three years ago uh, for all electric bike, but it is no longer a option. They're no longer selling it. They're no longer making it for a man under Harley Davidson name, but they do have a partnership and live wire is its own thing. Iron E displays two wheel freedom of electric bikes for kids to ride, as as well as I guess Serial One is a um, e bicycle. I don't know much about that. Um, maybe when I go out, I can review more. There's Pilgrim Road, the factory. More information, demo rides, food. Uh, yes, yeah, keep going. Rides in. I think this is what we already looked at for that. Yep. Ticket options. Let's see how much it's going to cost you to go, you know. Two day gentleman, one day, two day VIP, one day VIP. Um, and I think from what I looked at, they're like range from the 100 to $400 range. Uh, yeah. I think on that note. That is it for that, only for the homecoming. So if you guys are going, comment down below if you're going and what you ride, because I because if you're there, it'd be awesome to see some people there. Uh, luggage wise, um, I think it's standard luggage. I don't know if they added new stuff or different. Um, same paint schemes. It's kind of the similar stuff of what they're offering um yeah i'm not gonna go too much into that but this is uh anniversary edition one so you got like floorboards uh handle grips mirrors derby covers covers uh small brake pedals yeah see everything orange and caps so like yeah anything if you wanted to do like an anniversary like accent to your bike this is the way they go, uh, and they do range from pretty steep prices. You got one fifty nine there, four seventy nine for rider footboards. Um, but yeah, you could do a lot to it. I don't know if it's bikes. It's probably bike specific to uh, shifter. Um, all right, and this is. I'm not gonna watch these videos on this, but this is the new package thing that they were talking about. Um. Rider essential pack is ST essential package, day trip package. So like all these, so it's like long haul packages for your road glide. So you look on here and it offers all the different stuff for your road glide that you could have. Um, 
wiring, the hand, the grips probably heated, uh, the heated and cooling seats. Uh, this is what I wanted to really look at was the price. Two looks like about two grand. Now, with everything included, what I would do if I were you is look at every single piece, add it all up. Does it equal that amount? First off, most likely it'll add. It'll be a little bit more because you're individually pricing out and it's not a package deal. But remember, you still have to pay for labor costs when you get that installed. So two grand there. Low rider coastal package comes with a fairing. Soft tail standard, so it comes with all that stuff. Empire package, derby cover, and that's thirty five hundred dollars for all that stuff. Looks like exhaust, yeah, because exhaust and intake. That alone right there is like uh, fifteen hundred for price wise and tuning and everything else. So uh, Pan America Lowrider ST that comes with the boom the boom box and the looks like the bars to like put your feet up on for long rides so like looking at this package of stuff you know it looks you know it it looks good I mean it's a great idea but is it worth it like this day tripper here it's small like that's that's what I did with the street glide is I did that with chrome right so 614 not bad but you know there's they're gonna 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 compete with aftermarket or the aftermarket market, uh, Revzilla, all these other websites that sell stuff. Um, is it gonna be worth for them to buy everything from Harley or buy some or just go aftermarket? So it's weird that they're they're doing this. It's gonna be different, and I'm gonna I'm gonna if I can. Ask somebody who bought the package. I'm going to see what they think about it. And I'm going to get people's perspective on it, too. So, yeah. And I think with that, that is the end of kind of checking everything out. Been like 30, 40 minutes here checking this stuff out. So, um, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. And... Uh, Comment down below what you want to see more of, what you like, what you think is going to be different, too high, too low of pricing. Uh, what's your favorite bike that got released? Um, and let's uh, and we'll see what what's to come for this year. You know, we're going to see more bikes get released. It's going to be fun. Um, so once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.